Right guys, so we tried cryptocurrency mining for 24 hours on my PC right here, which also has a 2070 graphics card in it. So let's see how much it actually makes and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right guys, so the very first thing we did was pull up NiceHash, which if you guys don't already know, is a website that you guys can download a software that allows you to actually mine cryptocurrency. So from here, what we did was actually just check up on the profitability of using a you know RTX 2070 on nice hash which by the way was around two dollars and ninety seven cents USD estimated after the electricity cost so that is the approximate profits that we should expect to receive so we went ahead and actually downloaded nice hash but then realized wait I haven't actually updated this uh, the driver for GeForce for a while guys, like a long while. So what did we do? Well, we had to go through a long process of downloading this new update. And once it was finally complete, we finally was able to open NiceHash. So after opening up NiceHash, it's very simple guys. It will literally just auto detect your actual, you know, graphics card and or CPU if you have one. Obviously you would have one because all computers need a CPU. But basically guys, all we had to do was actually click start and that would actually start mining. However guys, there were certain modes that you can put this mining into and those settings actually impact your earnings. So what we did was actually we tested it out and boy did I tell you if we put it on medium or even light mode, I'm telling you my PC actually became a jet engine guys. Like it turned on real hard if you know what I mean Now after messing around on the site and you know the setting, I came across something that was actually kind of interesting. Apparently if we went ahead and turned on the iCore, which is you know the actual CPU that you would use for uh, mining, that actually impacted our earnings in a negative way. So it actually eats up more electricity than it actually earns. So the obvious option that we would go with is simply turn off the iCore and we're not mining with CPU with nice hash. So with that being said, we set our optimal level of mining to medium on the GeForce RTX 2070. And now all we have to do is wait until, well, 24 hours. So I started this right at one o'clock AM. I, yeah, it's, it's definitely late. But with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. For you guys, that'll be a few seconds. So see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so it's about an hour away from one o'clock and some ideas started going through my brain. So uh, yeah. All right guys, so horrible angle, but we got a 2011 slash 2010 laptop right here. I have no clue what's actually inside it. It's just, yeah. We're just gonna see what this is about. This one's a newer. This is a newer one right here that's actually from 2020. Either way, guys, we bought this for a business that we were gonna run on eBay for drop shipping, but it turns out I don't actually need it. So let's actually see how much these things can actually mine with nice hash. Cause you know what, I was curious and uh, yeah, let's find out. All right guys, so you can see that it's currently 12.03 right now guys. So uh, yeah, we gotta get started and then hopefully soon we can go ahead and actually check up on the PC upstairs, which has been running for quite some time now. And then I can finally catch some sleep because I decided to start this thing very, 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 very late. Either way guys, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and I'll see you guys in a little bit. This one doesn't work. This one doesn't work. This one doesn't work. Ah. Alright guys, so here we are back. And yes, I know it's been pretty much the next day after the next day because I was too tired to refilm this part at one o'clock. But basically guys, let's go ahead and actually go over what happened. So to summarize guys, the PCs, or no, the laptops itself actually did not make anything because well, 
they don't actually work simply because they're either too old or they didn't actually have a graphics card to begin with so nice hash did not even work with those laptops however guys the PC right here actually did work out and it did earn some profit so what did we earn well guys after 24 hours of mining with the 2070 we got a profit of three dollars and 34 cents USD so that is equivalent to, I'll put a total on screen in Canadian dollars for, well, my currency. Now all that's left to do guys is actually bring this over to Coinbase and I'll show you guys how that's done. Let's go. Okay guys, so apparently we can't withdraw yet. So new thing we learned, our minimum withdrawal amount is 0.0005 BTC. And currently guys, we don't have that, but if we go ahead and actually run our PC for only 10 more days, we will have the cash out limit right here. So I guess we could technically do that if I really wanted to. I guess I could do that while I'm at school and during the nighttime, I guess. But basically, once you actually hit the minimum cash out amount, it should allow you guys to bring that over directly to Coinbase. And I believe the cash out limit is roughly around $30. So guys, would I continue mining well with this personal PC right here? Maybe, possibly just on like, you know, times that I don't actually use the PC. But would I actually go out and buy a entire, you know, mining rig for this thing? Well, as of this moment, no. And there's actually a good reason why, and that is because if you guys check for any GPUs, I swear to God, it is so hard to find it, dude. I spent all of yesterday trying to shop for a GPU, even a 20 model series, not even the 30, and I swear, dude, there's nothing on sale. Everything is like five times more than the actual MSRP, which is just crazy, guys. So, I mean, right now, it is profitable to mine if you already have the equipment, but I would not suggest actually going out and purchasing a GPU. Then again, I'm not into the crypto space as much as the other guys out there. So yeah, I'm not the most qualified person to tell you what you guys should or shouldn't do with crypto mining, but you know, that's my opinion on it. And what I would do is I would love to get into crypto mining, honestly. And I would actually make a few videos for you guys on that once I actually do. But currently guys, the prices for these GPUs are just way too crazy and it will take way too long to actually pay off the actual entire rig. So guys, my plan is literally just to wait it out until the shortage of uh, GPUs are out of the way and no longer a thing. Then honestly, I'll pick up a few and then make a whole entire mining rig setup and I'll probably document it because most of you guys actually want to see that. So stay tuned for that and uh, should be fun. With that being said, guys, if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button for me. Thank you so very much. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, thanks for watching. Peace out for now. Ah, oh, jeez.